everyone. Back painting the fifth survivor hero from Zombie Side Green Horde by Seaman Games, and this time it's Rolf. Just showing you Rolf here. He is primed in barbarian flesh, the color 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 primer by Army Painter. This one is by Benson. So if you do enjoy the video, do give him a thumbs up below. Big him up. He loves the love. He's going to be starting well with Citadel paint, but it's quite nice to see the difference. So I've done my three with Army Painter's range, and Benson's doing his mainly with with the Citadel range. So you get to see the different colours you'd use in both sets. So this is Cadian flesh tone, and he's going over that barbarian flesh just with this because he's going to match the tones to this colour. But even saying that, the 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 colour primer in the background does allow you to be a bit sloppier. It's going to cover any little bits you've missed after you've done the skin. You're going on to Steel Legion Drab Citadel again. And this is very similar to the Leather Brown, the army paint set that I, I, I'm using. And he's painting Rolf's skirt here, so the, the main bit of his clothing. This model's mostly, mostly skin. There's only a few bits to do. It's quite a simple one to do, really. Corn Red, uh, very similar to Abomination Gore by the army painter. So I'm going, oh, I might be on fire. I might be able to tell you the alternate paint that every single one of the paints he uses just because there's so few on this model so that's to paint the uh, loincloth bit over the top of his skirt slash shorts maybe he's wearing shorts i can't quite tell what they are in the, on the model there mournfang brown so this is a uh, readier brown so maybe dirt splatter from the zombie side army painter range it's I do think this is a colour that Rangers is lacking, but if you use Dirt Splatter, that's going to look contrasting enough, I think, from the Leather Brown, look quite good. He's also doing the, um, <laughs> what are those bits called? Greaves? Maybe Greaves. Somebody correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, but yeah, same colour for those. But then he's going to mix in some black, about two to one, so 33% black, and he's just darkening that up, and he's going to add a darker brown to, to his boots. Uh, so I don't think I have anything in my army painter range of that. That's so I'm sure they do it, but I I only have the zombie side army painter range. So I'd be using charred brown by Vallejo there. That's just a, a really dark brown that I've I, I really do do like. I use that one quite a lot. He's also painting the hair in that. So it wasn't his boots. That's just his his, his leg warmers, isn't it? So he's got uh. He's got wraps around the top of his boots and then different coloured shoes underneath. So maybe some snazzy trainers. A bad and black, just plain black. So that's, you know, it's plain black in any set, but it's dead black in the Army Painter zombie side set range that I use. So that's just to do both of his shoes under those, those wraps around his legs and also the sheath on his back for the sword. Speaking of sheaths, there's also one on the front for his dagger. So <laughs> same as that, just do that in black as well. After that, just touching up the boots because he missed a little bit. After that, it's going to be Lead Belcher. So this is the darker silver by Citadel. So this is similar to Machine Gun, uh, Machine Gun Metal by the Army Painter Zombie Side range. And he's going to be using that for the the details on the sheath for his dagger. It's got a little bit of metal at the end, as well as his belt buckle and the end of his belt. And then it's the two blades for so his dagger in his left hand and his sword in his right. Just seeing the the sheath around the back there has a little bit of a metal point at the bottom. Hash up copper. This is um, how Benson base coats his his gold. So he does it in copper to begin with, which is quite a dull version of gold, isn't it? I mean, we all know what copper looks like. So he he's doing the pommel of the sword, the hill, uh, and the same on the dagger there. Also, he's got another dagger strapped to his waist. So he's just doing it there, and then a couple little bit of, of uh, gold on his belt as well. So he's using hash up copper to base coat that gold. After that, he's going to use use shanty bone. That's to paint on all these strings on his on his sheaf, uh, uh, both sheaves really, but one on one his back. So what's the plural sheaf? Sheaves, maybe. Sounds good. It's also got some on his boots as well, like his laces are showing through. So get those as well. A couple of coats on that, build up that that you shabti bone or um, brain matter beige, sorry, from the zombie side set. It's going to use null oil. This is quite a dark wash, so similar to uh, Survivor Shader, the black wash. So he's going to do this on the darker areas. So that's his... the the boots and his hair, the sheaths and the metal. After that, Agrax Earth Shade. This is a more brown shade, so this is similar to the Deep Shader by the Army Side Zombie Side set. I keep clarifying. I'm sure you get the picture now. The Army Painter Zombie Side set is the one I keep referencing for the uh, what I've been using to paint them with. So he's doing this on basically the rest of it. So that's going to be the, uh, the the browns, 
uh, everywhere but the skin. Everything that was left except for the skin. And then it's seraphim sepia, which is a sort of uh, reddy brown. It's a much lighter tone. It's just like a sepia tone. And that's to do with the wash on the skin. After that, he's going to use Cadian flesh tone, the same as what he used on the base. And that's just to bring out the, the base of the color after he's washed it. He's going to try and leave that wash in all the recesses of the skin. So that's like in between all of his muscles. And this guy's a big, muscly guy. So this is quite easy to do, really. He's got very, very big muscles. And <laughs> the, the recesses stick out and all the muscles are, 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 are protruding from the, from the model. So it's pretty easy to do. The back's maybe the hardest, but you can get that looking really good. He's six or eight pack. And his pecs are very, very easy to do. Biceps. I mean, you can you can see it's got very, very distinct symmetrical almost lines in the muscles. So this is a, a nice one to practice doing up your skin on. Also, you want to be highlighting all of his hands as well. Bring that back up. Leave it shaded between his fingers and around the sword. And then it's the same sort of his kneecap and any muscles you can see. Just paint them back in, leaving that shade in, in between. Does it, is there a word for like, the bit between muscles somebody needs to let me know that works i need it for, for the amount of times i talk about muscly men <laughs> mornfang browns back out that's to start highlighting up all those areas where um he painted with the the black mixed in so it's his it's the tops of his boots those those wraps around his trainers what are they called? I'm sure, I, I'm sure I've had known that in the past. <laughs> Steel Legion Drab, that's to highlight. Just paint back in that base colour of his shorts slash skirt. That's just going to bring that tone. Just leaving the, the shade in the recesses in between all those folds you can see. Uh, I'd leave it underneath the model as well. Sort of under his, under his, <laughs> you know, under his crotch. So that looks shaded. Mixing a bit of Yushati Bone with the Mornfang Brown, you for about 50 50, you're going to get a lighter shade of that. And that's to highlight up those lighter areas of brown that he painted in the base coat. So his belt and uh, those leather, um, I said greaves before, I meant braces, the wrist ones, the greaves around his, ah, that's it. He's got leather greaves around his uh, shins and leather braces around his, his uh, forearms. Cadian Flesh Tone mixed with Kislev Flesh, both by Citadel. It's about 50-50. You could use, if you're using Survivor Skin or Belbarian Flesh by the Army Paint, just mix in a bit of Ushabti Bone, just, just a bit less. Have like 33% of that, just a third. And just lighten it up. You just want a slightly lighter skin tone. A lot of these measurements we give, I, honestly, you can just, it's just a rough estimate. You can judge it by eye. I mean, as soon as, you, as soon as you've mixed it, mix it next to the previous colour and have a look if you think that's a, a nice step up with the highlight. And he's just going to go around. He'll have this very, very watered down. So he's applying thin coats and building it up. And he's just building, building that up towards the middle of each part of his muscle. And then for a final coat, he's just going to use Kislev Flesh, the lighter skin tone by Citadel, and just add little tiny bits, so little lines, on the very most raised parts of each muscle and down his fingertips. And def definitely catch it on his sort of knuckles. Um, any any bit of bone that would be sticking out the back of his elbow, uh, his knees, that sort of thing. He's going to use corn red just to build up the, the, the highlight of that base core. So it's the same as he did that uh, like loincloth in previously. And he's just going along all the raised bits. So this has got loads and loads of folds and you can see in the video there. There's, there's plenty of folds to highlight up. After that, he's going to mix in a bit of Wazdaka Red, about 50-50. It's just a brighter one, and that's just to catch the very edges. So you can see he's using the side of his brush on some of those bits just to catch catch the, the, the tip of the, all the folds. And then a last final one. Oh, he's always doing one more, isn't he? <laughs> this is attention to detail, and it's just building up. I think he's basically just going over the top of what he just did, um, but with a brighter, brighter red, just gives a more satisfying pop to that bit of colour. But all the coats are very thin, so they build up on top of each other. He's using gold. This is by Vallejo. He still hasn't got the Citadel gold, and he's going to be painting on top of that hash hook copper that he painted at the beginning, and that's just going to highlight up the gold. So that's the pommels, the hilts of all three weapons he's got. How's he gonna use the third dagger? I don't, I don't wanna know how he's gonna use that. It's also, what was that? It's also got some sort of uh, medallion necklace on as well. I didn't even notice that the first time through. Mithril, Mithril, is it Mithril? Hang on, let me go and look it up.
yeah, it was mithril. So I fixed the uh, fixed the overlay. I have to type that every single time. Would you believe it? Do you know how tedious that is? I should fix my overlays. But anyway, he's just highlighting up all the edges of the the silver. So those that's the the tip of the sheaves. The bottom of it was was done, and then the edge of the blades so definitely use the side of the bush catching that big blade there. He's going to do the eyes next. Just going to slow this down a bit so you can roughly see what's doing this is so difficult to see on camera this is difficult to see off camera so so i'm not sure how much this will help but i'll try and let you see so that was some white eyeballs and then a teeny tiny dot for the uh for the, the black for the pupil in his eyes just taking his time there this is it's nice and slow but I, d I don't know how much i can help you with that that's what to do and Brace your arms on the table, so I lean on the on the table with both my hands to get that. And I often use my hobby holder, get a nice strong grip on that. I should probably film that at some point to show you the difference in, in, in how to grip it when you want to keep your hands very, very steady. So bad and black next, just mixing a little bit of white, about 10, 20%, something like that. And this is just to highlight up all the blacks that he did in a bad and black before. So that those sheaves and the, the, the bottom of his boots, the black bit of his boots, just catch all the edges in that. And it'll just make him pop out and look a little bit more realistic. And that is Rolf completely done. Just painted the base in a bad and black there too. One hour, 24 minutes. I think that's pretty quick. You can't complain about that, can you? Great job. So I think this is really good in contrast to Selly that I painted a couple of days ago for you. And how I didn't use any wash. And I think you can see this looks really like poppy. It stands out really, really well. Benson's done a great job. So do big up Benson, as I said, give him a thumbs up below. He loves the attention. And then just after that, I'll just compare it to Selly for you. And see so Rolf's on the right, Selly's on the left. And you can see the difference, hopefully. I think Selly looks a lot cleaner, but Rolf just pops much, much more on the table. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting to look at. So you can choose which style you'd like to go for. Thank you all very much for watching.